All right, so you guys translate to 20, 221B uh, Baker Street. Yeah, are you doing the do 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 and uh, yeah, I know from Rain's World. I don't know where how far it go back goes back before then, but you know what the initial is. <laughs> I think I that's that the, me. That may be the origin. Well, it's a reference to uh, to to uh, to a transition from uh, yeah. that was popular and started in like seventies and eighties in TV shows. But gotcha. It really hit hard in the eighties a lot. They've been a lot of that. But all right, so um, in front of you is a dark um, mire, and it is. Uh, foggy outside. It's actually rather chilly, um, rather cold. Um, and you hear the um, whistles of what sounds like a police whistle as you see like a couple um, like halos of light sort of move across the, this, this mire in front of you. It's just this expanse of, you know, land that's really foggy and, and hard to see. Behind you is um, uh, the Baskerville Manor. I um, mean, y'all are actually right in front of the gate where the uh, um, where Mr. Baskerville, the the first body um, in the Hound of Baskerville, was found um, on the side gate of the manor. So the manor is right behind you. The mire is right in front of you, um, and there's some commotion going on in the mire. Um, as you guys translate in, um, Jackson, uh, what is your new foci? My new foci is um, Saul's Mysteries. All right. So I uh, have gotten taller and thinner and my hair is darker and I've got a little pointy black goatee and I've, I've somehow in this translation developed an insufferable New England accent. <laughs> all right, you're going to have to use it though. Yeah. <laughs> Preparing it all day, right? Um, uh, how about Adair? What uh, what do you look like now? Uh, Adair now is an entertainer. Uh, entertains is the focus. And with Adair, um, basically the easiest way to describe it, the short version, is a Cockney hooligan straight out of uh, Cheapside, <laughs> London. But um, basically navy blue uh, pinstriped pants, white button down, navy blue suspenders, the black bowler hat black and white wing, wing tips and a big old smirk on his lips. And just as that guy has the annoying New England accent, I'm going with the Cockney accent. Oh, oh Jesus is going to be very <laughs> I didn't think I could, the podcast. I, yeah, I didn't think I could pull off an English accent consistently. That's I, I, uh, I apologize to any of your English viewers or listeners right now because my <laughs> accent is absolutely dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, to put it to put it in British slang, it's a bit mingus now, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go. I might need a translator. <laughs> it was that was me saying it's very terrible. Gotcha. Ah, uh, yes. All right, Jack with candles. What's your focus, and what do you look yes. like? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I it, it you uh, you took me a little bit by surprise because I wasn't thinking about shifting. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 origins, as it were. I wasn't thinking about shifting countries, mm. uh, but uh, according to uh, according to the internet, the last name McCandless is uh, has uh, uh, apparently Irish and Scottish origins. So I could go with one of those. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> Great. Um, Do uh, right. Jack all of you can have one guy sounding like he's from Boston, <laughs> one guy that's doing rhyming slang, and the next guy that's just going to be sitting there going, Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, we have well, the entire I mean, United Kingdom covered, right? Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's very right hard actually to uh, to develop this thing over uh, the number of years, so it's not absolutely terrible. It's uh, but at the same time, you know, it's uh, uh I, I think my character might be a bit too bloody-minded to uh, to let himself change that much. Uh, so uh, first of all, his uh, he's dragged his uh, his focus over, so it still looks for trouble. Okay. Um, and uh, he uh, and so I, I think he's still actually going to be largely the same. He's he's still American, um, but uh, he, the the main he looks pretty much the same except his uh, his sideburns have become mightier. And uh, they are now like actual mutton chops. 
Um, and uh, he is uh, he has now got uh, he has now got um, as far as his clothing goes, he still is sort of wearing the 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 he. He, he he favors sort of the men in black look in general, so he's uh, he's now just basically got something that looks kind of more, um, uh, slightly more. What is what, what is there such a thing as a working man's tuxedo? Something close to that, basically. Um, he, he's just got basically a long black coat and fancy uh, coveralls and uh, tie and suspenders, um, and is. And is wearing one of the and is wearing a top hat. <laughs> we'll say. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, that's that's about what it looks. He still has his dark. He, he was he had sunglasses before, and he now has dark glasses. But they're now like the 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 pre more pretentious looking Victorian type. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We lost a uh, Jackson Harper. Looks like. And he's fading in and out. Back. Almost. Almost. Hey. All right. All right. Sorry, when you uh, dropped out, it sort of switched to uh, where everybody's position is on the camera. Oh, so. sorry about that. Not a fun. Uh, no. I'm not sure why that happened. But all right, we're back. And so in front of you is this large mire. Um, there's something in commotion going on, in, um, you know, probably about 100 yards away um, in, in it. Um, it is uh, pretty. Um, Overgrown a bit. There's a lot of uh, rocky little hills here and there um, that you can see. And um, but you, yeah, it, it's it's pitch black outside, and you it's cold. It's a little windy. Um, and for some reason there's still a fog. And um, and yeah, you see that there's a couple like people holding lanterns and moving about in the mire. And you hear like the whistles blown of some sort of like police whistle. What do y'all wish to do? I say, gentlemen, they seem to be looking for someone out there. I would not want to be mistaken for a villain on this night. I How do you do that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ah, they look like they're having a bubble out there. Okay, you, know, you realize you don't change who you are, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I just, I'm just looking back and forth with the two of them slightly confused. <laughs> uh, just sort of shrugging. <laughs> um, I don't what, really know why it? I'm talking this way, but I am. All right. Yeah. By the way, Bubbles having a laugh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Perhaps anyway. we should go offer to help. I should. Three random dudes that just randomly appear outside a random manor. You really think they're going to be like, oh, hey, come on, check we out were, what's up here. We were Seriously. walking by. We were, we were looking at the stars before the fog <laughs> rolled in. The omnipresent fog. I'm sorry. Does this look like a place people normally walk? I'm just... um, I think you might be right. Uh, per uh, perhaps we should just say we were uh, uh, touring the area. We had uh, maybe we're tourists <laughs> in the middle of the night on the moors. <laughs> well, we got lost, didn't we? Could be. Could be. Anyway, someone could be in trouble. Let's check it. I, I think we should check it out. And I actually am going to turn and start walking in that direction. All right. So as you start walking into the mire, is, uh, is uh, Jackson and Adair going to follow him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, you get about... I don't like <laughs> Do you guys have any kind of lantern with you or what have you? I have what looks like an old-timey uh, bullseye lantern type thing, but it's actually my manipulation beam cipher, so I don't want to turn it on. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> but no actual light. See, I had a cell phone, but I don't know what it would have turned into. <laughs> it, it didn't come with you. Yeah. <laughs> but. Okay. 
So you um, you start walking in the mire. You get about um, thirty yards. Um, everybody, go ahead and give me a um, level two speed test. I'm. Is this to? Uh... This is to avoid breaking an ankle. So if you have any skill, oh. that's going to. Uh, um... I'm trained in perception because I'm extremely sleuthy. All right, I'll give you that. Um, so oh, it's level please. one for you. You know Doesn't matter. Yeah, Eighteen. You, okay, let me see if I can remember where the ro where the rolly things are. Ah, yes, here they are. Top right of your character sheet. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna roll the thing. All right. So yeah, everybody, uh, you know, it's That's it's treacherous eight. footing, um, you know, through this this little rocky areas of the of the mire, um, and it, you can tell as you start to get out there that there's what looks like. Um, little mounds across the mire that were that that are probably like um burrows or, or barrows excuse me of an old um ancient um people that might have lived out here um so so there are sort of rocks and sort of man-made areas that are a bit um harder to travel um just because it's so old that they aren't as stable or are as well defined um as just regular ground. After about, you know, 50 yards into the, the, the barrows, one of the uh, whistles, one of the lanterns that you see ahead of you, um, somebody whistles and starts, like, heading your way. And they hear you hear someone say, stop right there, please. I'll stop. I'll stop. Sure. All right. Um, out that of the fog materializes a... Um, Two gentlemen um, with a hooded lantern um, uncovered, um, and they're dressed as uh, guards um, to what looks like like a prison guard attire. And and says, "Ho oh, there! State your business. What are you doing out in the mire?" Just taking I, a walk in the evening. It's good for the constitution. I see, I see. Um, we had a, a prison break uh, out at uh, a Dartmoor Prison just across the mire. Um, we were looking for uh, two individuals that ran off. There's three of you here, and you don't match the descriptions. Um, have you seen anybody in the mire yet? I, I have not, and I'll turn to my companions. Have, have you? Nah. nah. Oh, nobody. Single person. What do they look like? Uh, one's a scruffy-looking gentleman about um, your height, and he points to uh, a, uh, a dare. Um, you know, long, flowing black uh, hair um, and a scar across his left eye. Uh, the other's a short, round, plump guy. I'm surprised we haven't found him yet. Mm. Um, of, of Irish descent, he's got a red ha uh, hair, close cut. Well, tell me, good sir, in your prison, do you require the prisoners to wear prison uniforms? We do, we do. What should we be on the lookout for? Uh, standard prison attire uniforms. And I'm going to say black and white stripes. <laughs> black and white stripes, all right. <laughs> yes. This is before they smartened up and went orange. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think at some point in England they started using arrows like pointing up, but I can't remember when that, when that happened. Um, all right. And uh, so he says to you, um, we would kindly like for you to uh, leave the mire um, and, and go wander elsewhere while we search the area. Um, just more or less uh, free radicals roaming around um, to uh, foul up our investigation and our search. Um, the dogs are, will pick up your scent instead of theirs. And you do hear the barking of dogs. These two guys don't have any with them, but you do hear like the, the, the barking of dogs. Um, in in the mire. Uh, sure, uh, but uh, we kind of got turned around a bit. It seems. Uh, uh, do you know the way back to civilization from here? Um, he points back to the manor that y'all just left and says, uh, "Well, the Baskerville Manor is right to that direction. It's the closest uh, way out of the mire. Um, I'm sure the servants there will be kindly to direct you to the street uh, after that." 
um, so you can get back to civilization. As you go down the road, a good uh, um, a good uh, three four kilometers, you will uh, come to the the train depot that will take you uh, wherever you need to go. I had to quickly switch kilometers instead of miles in my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're not still on furlongs or something? Yeah. They actually used furlongs back in Shakespeare's era. Ah. Well, that, this is not Shakespeare's era, so. Mm. Yeah, they're not Shakespeare. Um, Sherlock Holmes. Sorry. Okay, Rain. Not furlong there. My bad. I'm <laughs> There's an SH. <laughs> and, and they actually use miles, too. They don't use metric system. Yeah, so they use imperial miles, I take it. Yes. I guess it's what we still use. Well, never I am sorry that my podcast is not uh, entirely accurate. <laughs> sorry. To the, uh, London Let's lose the bad accuracy, darn it! <laughs> it's breaking my immersion! <laughs> but it's a different recursion, though, so it was fictional leakage from modern writing, so ah, it's exactly. really turned into kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> that means I get my cell phone. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All that home slash fiction. <laughs> and remember, you guys are on the lookout for somebody who's probably been here for about an hour. Yeah, yeah. If, if and, you don't mind me asking, chaps, did you happen to see a woman come running past here? Um, is she lost in the mire? Uh, she might be. We're, we're not sure. We're actually uh, looking looking for this lass as well. Hmm. Could she have been aiding and embedding the fugitives? What? Tell me about this. We have not seen a woman, but we don't know of any uh, that are missing. Uh, it would be uh, within the last hour she'd have uh, run through here. Hmm. Well, the prison break did happen an hour ago. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, perhaps uh, our perhaps our our objectives are in alignment. Uh, maybe we can help you search for your men, and that in turn will lead us to our woman. Hmm. Um, he says, uh, any, any help that you can provide us uh, would be greatly appreciated. Do you have any kind of light? We do not. We started walking when it was daylight, and we did not so think very far ahead. Um, would you, he's confused because you said you're looking for a woman who left an hour ago, but then you've been out here for, since daylight, so he's No, 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 my good sir, I, I apologize for the confusion. She would have come through this area an hour ago. We've been following her for quite a while. All right. Um, one, the other gentleman who hasn't been talking, who's just sort of sitting there watching, he's obviously a junior guard, um, hands you his lantern. Oh, um, thank you, good sir unlit this entire time um, and said, we brought a spare um, in case we ran out of oil in the first one or something happened. But here, you can take it. Thank you. That'll help a great deal. Yes, thank you. We're going to circle back closer to the road um, um, to the north. If you guys want to... Uh, uh, head deeper into the mire. It's, it's dangerous out here, though, so be very careful. We shall. As I switch to 15 different accents and whatever. <laughs> not keeping it's consistent. More recursion bleed. <laughs> Continental. <laughs> Crikey! Crikey! <laughs> I do believe you went rock off onto there for a moment. <laughs> oh. Now if we find a big stick, we can poke something in the eye. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Not sure um, what the statute of limitations is on something like that. I'm not sure. What is the statute of limitations on a manta ray? I'm not sure. Oh. The stingray manta rays don't have stingers. Ah, that's that's that was the problem. Okay. Right. I understand so much more now. We're not in Australia, so all right. Right. Um, yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That's actually where these criminals should have so been. We are sent. looking for convicts. Huzzah! Yeah, yeah, you are looking for convicts. In the of that thing. So. <laughs> we would like to apologize to Australia. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, gentlemen, 
Do we finish our walkabout and see if we can't find these hoodlums? Yes. Let's. Yes. I can't even do it with a straight face. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so then let us away. Yeah, you depart from the guards and head um, <laughs> deeper into the mire, I'm assuming. And yes. <laughs> both, both literally and figuratively, it would seem. <laughs> Damn, it's dark out here. Yep. But now you have a big lantern if you want to light it up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's. Yes. <laughs> All right. Spark that sh Never mind. <laughs> Family friendly podcast. All right. Um, does anybody have any kind of tracking they want to try to use or uh, uh, any features like that with your uh, foci? I Maybe. solve mysteries and am sleuthy. Okay. So that would be a good idea to try to um, mm -hmm. try to get yourself some sort of trail. Is yep. there any chance um, I might be able to help him with uh, training and perception of any kind? Um, sure. I will allow you to create him an asset. Excellent. Now is a good time to let everyone know that I'm inspiring. And because you're <laughs> hanging out with me once a day, you can reduce the difficulty of a task by one step. All right. No, I'm not sure you want to use it today. so inspiring. On this one. Yeah. <laughs> if it yes, helps it. you with tracking, look over there! Just <laughs> your presence and uh, suddenly we can see better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Through stories, songs, art, and other forms of enter entertainment, you inspire your friends. <laughs> he, he's humming the turn of the century tavern tunes, and it's... <laughs> Great. Well, one time at band camp, I. <laughs> oh, sorry. No Monty Python? No? Oh, yes, yes. yes. So we're oh, looking for the Holy Grail. Oh, see, I was going to. Yeah, you should be the, uh, the the bard in that one. The minstrel. It's a robber. It's a robber. Bravely ran away. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been written yet. We need. <laughs> you know what we forgot to do? I confused. Forgot to ask those two gentlemen for the two convicts' names. Oh, forgot to ask the two gentlemen to drive his name, and they didn't get it to you. So, yeah, true, true. All right. Um. So you head off. Give me a bro tracking roll, then, sir. All right. So I've got an asset, and I'm inspired. Uh, if, if you, you want to use inspire. You can... Yeah, can I don't want to use when you use that inspiration. I don't want to use the inspiration yet, but uh, I am well, trained in perception. Uh, level five, excuse me. Um, level five. Level five, but you're down two steps because of uh, Jack assisting you and your um, training. Yep, and I'm going to make. I'm going to spend a level of effort. Okay. Um, ooh, I'm going to have so to take some. Two. You need six. I'm going to have to take some recovery rolls here pretty soon. Oh yeah. I also um, help with that as well. All right, got a 16. All right. Look, I see footprints. Mm. What you actually see is, yeah, the, uh, the, the vegetation on the ground disturbed um, in, in a trail. After a while of searching, it takes you about, a, about 20 minutes to actually find this, though. <laughs> um, you see that the, where some vegetation has been disturbed prior to y'all getting here. And from what you understand from what the constables told you or that they did not go this direction yet. So um, if the vegetation's been disturbed, it's not been from you. Oh, even In fact, better. you also find a small um, plate of metal, um, machine uh, cut metal. Not blacksmith hammered? Yep. And it kind of probably came from the inopposite harness that the woman was wearing. That's bad if pieces are falling off of it, though. Mm -hmm. And that's also one thing to, to note, though, is she did not translate here. Right. So she is going to look completely out of place if found by others. All right. Well, let's let's follow this. Opposite. That's only if it was in opposite and not yeah, translation. She, she had yeah, an there's a harness. There's an earth artifact that's in an opposite harness. It's like a get out of the recursion free card. Yep. Ah, sorry. More All right. <laughs> but 
All right. So, and and uh, what do the notes back in the van say that she had to charge this thing for an hour? Correct. Yes. Oh, so she could very well be getting ready to leave soon. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So it just took y'all quite some time to hide the bodies. Yeah, get away from the situation. Contact Catherine Manners, um, yeah. and then translate here. So. Actually, it's probably only been about a half hour now that I think Ooh. about the, the time. Can, so. can I look at that piece of whatever it is that fell off said backpack thingy and okay. try to get like a timeline from it? Like, okay, you know, how long it broke or what kind of breaking and, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, that would be extremely difficult to do. Um, it's just a I plate of machine metal. Um, but... Like so, not not more like how it fell off, that kind of thing. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can was do that. it ripped off? Was it torn off? Did it vibrate off? You know that kind of stuff. Um, you see on one side of it that it's pretty much got a weld that it looks like the weld snapped. Okay, um, like it was welded to another piece, and it just looks like the weld snapped off. Um, so is, is the vegetation here kind of torn up? Does it look like she had a yeah. rough landing, and maybe yeah, that exactly. Okay. And in fact, you see multiple prints or multiple, like it's like a scuffle happened here. Oh. As you see, the, the pieces are broken off uh, the metal and they All head right. deeper into the mire. I, uh, I could speculate, but that might not be a good idea. Unless you want to speculate. We're in, we're in the speculation recursion. <laughs> You just yeah, have to see, say it's elementary. Tell it by the giant mass of messed up vegetation and then everything going in different directions. She translated in here, right on top of the two dopey bastards that ended up breaking out of prison because they forgot to send them to Australia. <laughs> and because like of this, uh... she got into a fight. They tore at the backpack. They ran off with the backpack and they left her with the bill. Yeah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been shot yet. <laughs> hey, there, it looks like that your, or Lucas, it looks like your camera died, ran out of batteries. What? Yeah. Like, how so? It's a black screen with a... Uh... Your picture. I, oh. can, I can still see him. Really? I can't. Yeah, he does have a little symbol in the bottom right, right corner of his picture of, of a camera with a little sad minus symbol inside it but uh oh no he's back yeah oh, there he's back okay i was always here and never left but, <laughs> hey, we, <laughs> could I'm back. Hi. we could hear you just fine we just couldn't uh see you for a bit there but anyway unless we right. were imagining the the all the hair. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what yeah i got a lot of hair too now yeah, but you're not ugly. See, I said big ugly guy with the hair. Okay, I gotcha. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, All right. so. Um, is there one set of foot? Um, okay, so does it look like one set of prints went one way and maybe two sets of prints went another way or all no, three go all together? No, sort of go the same direction. Okay, so let's. After the scuffle. Let's Let's follow. Okay. Let's follow. Um, so you start following this trail for about a uh, half hour, and yeah, it's, it, it, it's <laughs> deep into the night now, um, and in the distance, you hear dogs barking still, mm -hmm. and they're actually coming from behind you. Because they got the scent. They're on the same trail we're on. Yep. All right. So, so we... they're barking, and they're sort of coming up, and um, then in front of you, after about a half here? hour... A whining noise. You hear a low guttural growl. Uh oh. From in front of us or from behind us? From in front of you. From in front of us. Okay. And then a voice um, from the uh, um, from the darkness in front of you says, "Stop right there, or we'll shoot you." Oh, uh, well, I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to reply. 
because uh, I'm actually good with uh, social interactions. Okay. And being that they're not really that aggressive towards us yet, I'm specialized in persuasion as well in this case. But P social interactions, I'm trained. Uh, trained. And I'm going to look and say, actually, and why do you want to shoot us? No, really. Why? Uh, because. Because we're bad. We need your clothes. So I'm going to spin identity here really quick, which is going to cost me two points of intelligence, <laughs> which allows me to come up with a false, uh, basically, identification of myself. Okay. And, and I'm going to actually hold up my hands. I'm really going to sell this. I'm going to be like, whoa, 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 gents, 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 please, please. We're actually here to get you and get you along on your way. Big Jimmy sent us. He did. Big, oh, yeah, he did. Do, do you know nothing about England? <laughs> Big Jimmy. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I heard. All right. Um, give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> what level am I doing? Um, it's going to be level three only because they are desperate and you don't seem like cops. So. Okay. I am specialized in persuasion. All right, so it's level one. All right, you Ooh. succeed. There go, you know, he says, oh, thank God for the help. Um, we, uh, we sent word that we were going to uh, break out tonight, but we didn't know that uh, it had been received yet. Um, we were expecting to have to wait here for another week in the mire. Nah, word got out pretty quick, and we uh we sent the we sent the billies towards the road with the dogs. Good, good, good. We did run into one snafu though. This crazy now, lady um, can you has attacked and hurt lady? Tommy. How did she hurt Tommy? Um, she stabbed them from, with whatever crazy thing she was wearing. He tried to grab her, and uh, he's cut deep in the neck. Um, uh, she threw an elbow uh, at him with, uh, she's swearing some sort of metal device. I've not seen it make or like before. But uh, we've got her uh, subdued for now. Her, her device, though, looks to be crumbled into pieces. I'm, it must be some sort of... Uh, black magic or something. <laughs> well, uh, my my good colleague here, Mr. McCandless, uh, he should be good at, at taking care of your, your friend's wound. And then, uh, if you don't mind, uh, right. Mr. Harper with me here, um, if he could um, um, talk talk with the lady, if, if possible. We're not looking to free her, we're just looking to talk to her. Oh, right, right, right. Come this way. Um, be careful for the dog we found chained out here. He's rather large and vicious. Mm. All right. I will, uh, I will cautiously uh, move in that direction. Now, I had a... I actually... Um, my understanding is that items translate over as things that are equivalents, if, they're, if they only, exist. Only ciphers translate. Only ciphers. Only ciphers. Yeah. Really? Well, you're, so, you're, if if you're using weapons that have a something that it can translate to here, that that would work. So, like in my case, I had a, a Browning nine millimeter high powered pistol. Mm -hmm. So, like my pistol will translate into something that fits the time period because there are pistols. In, the period. Right. in which the in this case, mentioned, mine would well, be the a reason you that in this case is because I had a first aid kit. And so I was wondering if that might turn into something more like a Victorian first aid kit. Yeah. yeah. Which would be the pistol. Yeah, that, that would work. <laughs> and the only, reason, the only reason I said that you were good at that is because I accidentally remembered stuff from your silly focus, and I apologize. Oh. <laughs> but hey, you have the first aid kit, so that also helps. So, ding, ding. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> You've known uh, Jack McCandles for a while now. You've probably actually been um, first educated by him. So, 
Yes, yes. So I do. I, I have done it before. So, so I, I, I thought I was first educated in the back. Of the <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. I did first educate him even not too long ago, <laughs> or tried to. Now we're coming up with a new verb. Yeah. All right. So it sounds um, cool. Yeah, we we. <laughs> We, we walk on over, well, at least I'm going to walk on over and keep yeah. chatting this guy's ear up, like, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> making it, you know, seem like everything's awesome. All right. So I will, uh, I will, I will go ahead and head up and, uh, I guess maybe I'll be, uh, just, just by way of explaining it, either it would be something in my pockets or maybe I've got like a little black, almost like doctor's bag like thing. It's not really like a doctor's bag, but close to it. Um, where I've got my stuff. Little black so, back. so as we get a little closer, there's I'm assuming there's one guy on his feet and the other guy is on his back. Correct. But and I the guy on his feet has a gun. Well, yes. Well, he said he did. I'm actually looking to see if he has one. He does have a gun. Okay. 